Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful dynamic event and holiday calendar in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have this dynamic event and holiday calendar wherein on the top we have month. You can select any month from here and you can select any year from here. Automatically this calendar will be changed. It will show the event or holiday also on that particular day. So here you can see we have selected Jan month and we can see the different holidays here. If we have multiple event or holiday on the single date then it will put the sequence number also. Let me show you if I will select here Feb then you can see on 14th Feb we can see 1 dot Vasant Panchami then 2 dot Sri Panchami. Similarly, if I will select here August, then we can see here one dot Independence Day and two dot Parsi New Year. So it is adding automatic serial number also. And friends, to create this, we haven't used any kind of VBA. It's just formula based. Now let me show you the list of the holidays. So here we have the holiday name and the holiday date. You can change this according to your requirement. Here we have the month list and the year list. Okay, now I will show you how we can create this in Microsoft Excel. So let's start without delay. We will create this on a new workbook. So let's press Ctrl N. Book. This is book 3. And here we will create the list. So we will use the same list. Let's copy this and let's paste that here. And we will use the list for month name and year name also. So let's copy these two also and paste them here all right we will create the named range using the offset function let us go to the view and remove the grid lines first then go to the formula and go to the name manager and click on new name and here i am putting the name as holiday name range okay and we will use here offset function select this range comma put three commas here use the count a and we will get the count of holiday name close the bracket and put here one and just close the bracket click on ok now let's see here you can see it is automatically taking this range till the end okay close this if i will add anything new then this range will be taken till here let me show you So it is automatically considering this new record. Okay, so this is dynamic name range. So let's delete this here. Similarly, we will create the dynamic name range for holiday. So let's click on the new name. We can copy this formula, click on new. And this time we will take holiday date underscore range. Paste that formula here. In place of A, we will use B. So put here B and put here V and here also okay so this is dynamic name range for holiday just close this now we will create for the month name you can press the shortcut key also which is alt M and N and we can take the fixed range for the month name so let's select this one click on ok for year also we can take the fixed list because we have taken the 12 years okay so you can change the year within these 12 years let's click on name manager new name and here we will take the year list and select this range okay so we have created these names here let's add a new seat and rename it as calendar let's put here month and put here year okay now for the month we will create a drop down list so let's press alt dl to open the data validation window and just select here list in the source press f3 and we will select month list click on ok so we have the month list here similarly for the year we will press alt dl select here list and press f3 here just select the month list so we have the month list here all right let's go to the view 
and remove the grid lines from here. We will quickly format this. So let's go to the home and choose here this blue color, make the white font and here let's take the light color this one. Select these two, make them bold, align them center, press control 1, go to the border, take the thick border, let's say this one and choose the same color outline inside, click on OK. We will select this range. Take the format painter and just click here. So same formatting applied to the year also. All right. Now from column B, we will take here Monday. Then we can pick this fill handle and move to the right hand side till Sunday. Now select all columns of days and increase the column width. Take around 18 or 19. All right. Now select this range, align this center and take this color. Take the font color white, make this bold. Now quickly we will create the named range for selected month and selected year. So this is selected month. We can take from the name manager or from here also from this box. We can say selected month and just enter and this is selected year. All right, here we will create the first date of this month. So we will use here concat and take here one comma second text. Let's take the selected month. This one comma selected year. This one just hit the enter. So we are getting the first date of the month. But this is not the actual date. This is the text. If I use here is text function. Select this. So this is saying true. So we have to use the date value function here. Date value and just close this. Okay. Now use shift control 3 to format this. So we are getting the first gen 2024. If I select here fab, this is first fab. All right. Now let's copy this function. Copy and press alt M and N to create the new name. And this is our first date. And let's paste that formula here. Okay, close this. If I type here first date, I'll get that date. Now the first date will be on Monday. It's not necessary. So we have to use here first date minus weekday function weekday of first date comma the return type we will select second because we are taking the week from Monday till Sunday. Okay, so let's take two use plus one here and just hit the enter here we will use this plus one and we will fill till sunday so the first fab is coming on thursday i'll quickly show you in the calendar so here you can see the first fab is on thursday all right friend now we will quickly select this range go to the home align this center center press control burn Go to the number, custom and just take here format as DD. Click on OK. Increase the size and make it bold. We will take here this blue color and font white. And we will use a conditional formatting also. New rule. Use a formula to determine which cell to format. Put the formula here. Equal to month of and take the month of this cell. Press F4 thrice to remove the dollar sign is not equal to month of first date. First underscore date. We have created the name for this. Then we will form it in a light color. So let's take the font color. This one. Click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. So here we can see these three dates are from previous month and actual date is starting from here. If I select here Gen, then all dates from this month. Now increase the row width here. Select this range, press Ctrl 1, go to the border. Let's choose this color, outline inside, click on OK. Now we will get the list of holidays here. But before we get the list of holidays, let me show you the calculation here. 
so let us put one date here that is 1st Jan 2024 okay now let's see how we get the holiday list here so first of all we will consider this as the current date so what I'll do I'll click here on the cell and press alt M and N to create the new name and use here current date current underscore date and just select this range this is the current date and press F4 thrice to remove the dollar sign click on OK so we have current date now to get the holiday list we will use the filter function filter and array just use the holiday name range comma include holiday date range equal to current date if empty then put blank just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here the holiday name as new year type here 14th Feb then I am getting these two name okay so this is my holiday list okay I can just copy this formula and go to the name manager and add a new name and this is holidays for current date and just paste that here all right now if I type here holiday for current day I'm getting these two so now if I use the count a here before this and just close the bracket I'm getting the number of holidays on this date so I can say this is holiday count use alt m n again put here holiday count and paste that formula here all right to create the list if we have two holidays let's say I have here holidays for current date these two I have to use the text join function text join and the delimiter I will use here character 10 character 10 is the alt enter we use inside the cell to start the new line comma put here true and put this holidays for current date and just close the bracket so we are getting here two in two single cell if I'll go to home and use wrap text I'll get two in the different lines all right friends we have to use the sequence number if we have more than one holiday in that particular date so what I will do here let's use the if function if holiday count is greater than one then use the sequence function with and how many sequence the number of holiday holiday count and put this dot and then we will use the that filter function that means the holidays for current date this one okay so this is if holiday count is greater than one in the else case we will simply get the holidays for current date and just close the bracket so we are getting here the list of holidays including sequence number let's copy this formula and click on name manager new name and we will name it as holiday and paste that formula here click on ok close now we can delete this our formula is ready we can put the formula here as holiday and we can fill it right if I select here Jan then we can see the new year holiday is here now we can select this range press alt OD click on new rule and we will select format only cell that contents and select here no blank format and fill we will fill here some light blue color let's say this one and go to the more fill and make it more lighter from here click on ok 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 apply and ok we can see the blue color wherever we have the holiday now we will copy this range and we will paste that here increase the row width and here we will use the formula this cell plus one okay so we are getting the other holidays here now we can simply copy this and paste here and few more now let's increase the row height here here 
and here all right so it's working if i select here fab then we are getting here two holidays you can select this select all ignore error and you can reduce this size go to the page layout and you can select the landscape orientation with narrow margin okay you can give the header here for the first row select this and go to the home and use margin center and take some bold color like this font take the white bold increase the size just put here equal to in inverted comma calendar for and and use selected month and dash close the inverted comma and selected year and just hit the enter so dynamically it is taking the title if i select here jan then it is taking for jan all right friends so that is how you can create the dynamic calendar with your holiday or event list you can add more holidays or event list here accordingly it will show on the calendar friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching